being a wild olive tree, we are the wild olive tree, we are from another branch. But we were grafted in, now we are spiritual Israel. That's how Filipinos can go inside heaven. You know in heaven there is gates, and every door has this uh, tribe name. Saan papasok yung mga Pilipino? Wala, but we are grafted in. Yan. We are grafted in among them, and will be the partaker of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Boast not, but we should not be proud. Because some of the branches were removed because they were proud. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root in thee. Thou wilt say, the branches were broken up, that I might be grafted in. Yan. Okay. They were because of unbelief, they were broken off. One unbelief, God said something, but we are not believing. And thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the original Israelites to be broken off, He will not spare also us if we don't believe. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God. Whoa, God is good, but God is also severe. Yeah? And on which they fell severely. But toward thee, goodness. Wow. If thou continue in His goodness, otherwise thou also shalt be cut off. Oh, but if, that, if thou continue, anyway... And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. Wow, if the Israelites repent, they can be again grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. Wow, praise the Lord. Backsliders, believe again, be believe grafted in. For if thou art cut off out of the olive tree, which is by wild nature, were grafted contrary to the nature in the good olive tree, how much more shall this, which be natural branches, be grafted. That's why there are many Jews that are being used to bring people to the truth. Yeah? You know what? Doug Bachelor is a Jew. Do you know the editor of the Sabbath School lesson is a Jew? Yeah? Go, gold, uh, what is that? Goldstein and Doug Bachelor. Those are Jew. Adventist Jews. And they are being used to call other Jews also. <clears throat> Amen. So God loves us. Now therefore the feast of the hour when Jesus knew this hour has come, he departed, he, he depart world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world. He loved them unto the end. Okay. Okay. Now, if you will, if we look here, my friends, <clears throat> there are gifts of the Holy Spirit. Anything of them you like, you pray to uh, you ask. You ask your assignment, and you can receive. God will... Some of you, you already know. Some of you, you don't know. But the Bible also says, you ask and you shall receive. Yeah? So, by the way, there is here prophecy. One of here is prophecy. Do you know prophecy? Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 says, all of these gifts are good. But prophesy is the number one. Yeah? If you want to prophesy... Just prophesy only things that are in the Bible and this with the prophecy, not other things, okay? <clears throat> okay. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might be abound, but where sin abound, grace much more abounded. Wow. If you have many sins, don't worry. There is more forgiveness than your sins always. Diba? And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for me, for my strength is my perfect in weakness. Most gladly that the power of Christ. <clears throat> May rest upon me. For whom God hath sent, speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. Okay, we are all already uh, one minute. Okay, 12 o'clock. This is maybe the last slide. Almost. The promise of the Holy Spirit. This promise belongs to us as much as it did to them. And yet, how rarely it is presented before the people. Its reception is spoken in the church. In consequence of this silence upon the most important thing, what promise do we know less by its practical fulfillment, that rich promise of the gift of the Holy Spirit, whereby efficiency is to be given to all our spiritual labor? Yeah. Okay, last story. <clears throat> there were missionary called Sevilla, Flood. The apelyedo na yung Flood. In 1921, husband and wife, they went to Belgian Congo. But they were not allowed to preach because it's tribe. They asked the leaders of the tribe, can we be missionary here? No. Because this spiritualistic, they are controlled by the devil. You cannot be. 
<coughs> we don't allow you to be missionary here. You look for somewhere else to stay. So imagine you travel from a nice country to missionary to Congo, and then they do not, they don't want to listen to you. So what can you do? They set up another house in the other hill, and they need store, and they sold egg, eggs, you know eggs, it logo. They sold eggs. <coughs> no, no. There was one guy who was selling eggs. So they cannot do anything, but they need to buy food. So the boy came and sell eggs. Do you know about Jesus? I will tell you a story before I buy one egg. I will tell you a story. So every day the boy came and sold eggs. But the uh, Sibia flood told story to the boy. Oh, Bible story. One egg, one story, maybe. So every day 